good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Today, we are going to look at using the Reaper and broadcasting with Mixler. Now, Mixler is a free program you can use up to one hour if you want to broadcast your podcast live. And they have a beautiful interface. Uh, they can actually, people can come to your website. They can listen to it from, from your website. Or what I try and do is I like for people to actually come to our channel. And all of this is done through Mixler. I am signed in. And what happens is people can log in and they can text you. Okay. And I'm just going to go, hello. And the nice thing about this is if you're doing an interview and you have people that want to come up and ask questions about the person you're interviewing, they can come up here and text in their questions. And then you can relay those to the person that you're interviewing or the person you're interviewing can actually be logged onto this page as well. And they can see the questions as they come up. Okay. It's a real cool feature. But now we're going to come back to this because there's something I'm going to show you that just absolutely drove me crazy uh, because of the feedback that I was getting. And I figured out why. And it was it was my own fault. So I've been working with John uh, over with Mixler. These are a great group of, of people over there. You send them an email, you know, and, and this is the problem that I was having. I'm trying to do all this and record with Reaper at the same time. Okay, John, this is what I was trying to explain earlier and for you guys, just so you know what's going on. What I was trying to do was combine Mixler and be able to use Reaper at the same time to do my auxiliary recording. And you guys know uh, when I tell you that, you know, you should always have two means, never rely on your computer to do the recording. And Mixler is going to record this for you. But like I said, you know, power goes out or just regardless of what happens, then you've lost that audio file. OK, now with Reaper, uh, John, like I said, I'm going to come up here to uh, my options. And these are all the options I have, and I've tried every single one of these. Let me bring this down so it'll come into the uh, to the video. Now, I've tried all these different settings. It just doesn't matter. OK, so here again, I'm going to bring up Mixler just again so you'll see. That now, see, my signal has stopped. So anytime I shut that down or whatever, I've got to reload this. So I'm going to hit reload devices, and it's going to do its thing. And now it's going to pick it back up through my task cam, 16 over 8. Okay, as you can see right there, uh, it's the task cam US 16 over 8. Uh, and I'm using the ASIO channels 1 and 2. But now, if I come over to Reaper and I arm this, To create this, now I can see it coming in here if I was going to actually record this. And I'm going to simulate my phone call. You can see on my iPhone, I have this coming into channel uh, 9. So I'm going to play this recording. And this would absolutely just simulate a phone call that I was recording right now through Reaper. or into uh, Mixler, and you'll see now I have no input. And I will have no input as long as I leave these armed to record. Even if I hit record, see if I hit reload, it's going to go through, and I get no signal whatsoever. I get no input whatsoever. So if I come over now and I take these off, to where now they're not armed to record, and we'll bring up Mixler. You'll see I still have no signal coming in. But now if I go up and reload the devices, now my signals come back in just like they should. Now, I've got all these set at a negative 6. This is a good range, plenty of headroom. 
whatever I play now is going to come in uh, the way that I want it. And I'm going to simulate the phone call again. And there it is. There's my signal. 540-439-8100. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Now, I've got a playlist. This is by a band called Cells and Bridges. And I can play this, and you'll see the level coming in here is also the same. I truly do love this program called Mixler. And there it is. You can see it coming up just like that. Okay. You know, how did I get around this? How am I able to record, even though Mixler is going to record this for me, how am I going to be able to do this? So I've got my primary recording, my audio, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start Mixler now because the program that I'm actually using to record this video, I had to actually put on a headset with a USB to record through it because all three of these were fighting for that same file, okay? They all want to be able to use the ASIO file. And this is highly recommended when you do this. If you want professional audio, don't go through your sound card. Okay? So this is how I got around it with Tascam. On this, this is the actually uh, the front of it. Now, I've got these ears, the legs pulled off over here, and this is actually mounted in my rack. So this is where my, my SM57 comes in. This is my Shure mic. Now, if somebody comes over, I can put them on any one of these. Okay, all of these inputs. But now I've got my iPhone going into channel 9, my input. I've got the system sound coming out uh, to channel 10. Now, the line out for channel 1 and 2 is what goes into my Tascam digital recorder. And I monitor everything through the headphones on the Tascam because there's absolutely zero latency. Doesn't matter what gets pumped into this, even though it's going out through Mixler, okay, I hear it instantly. There's no delay. There's no latency. There is no nothing, okay? So now we're going to go up and pick up another photo, and I'm going to show you the back side of this. So you can see, here's my inputs. Now, this is the software that came with the Tascam. This has nothing to do with Reaper, Okay. So if I wanted to put some EQ or some compression, I can actually do it here before it goes into Mixler. Okay, same way over here, and then I would just come over and set these controls. Actually, I have to activate it, and then it'll come up, and then I can do whatever I want to with it. Okay, I don't mess with any of that. I truly don't. I do all of this uh, post-production. But I want to show you the backside. See, everything that comes in from input 1 through input 16 is going to go out through this mixer, this software, into this stereo bus, and it's going to come out into the phones and to the line out 1 and 2. And these are the lines out on the back of this. Okay, here's my line 1 and 2 out that I control with this knob. That's the input for my task cam. DR40, my digital recorder. So with that being said, now we come back up to Mixler. And as you can see, again, I've lost this because I'm switching back and forth. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to reload this device if I can. There we go. Even though I'm not using this microphone uh, right now to record into this, like I said, I'm using my uh, DR or my, my uh, logistic uh, USB headset. So I'm going to start the recording here, and I wanted to show you this uh, real fast, and then we'll be finished uh, with this little uh, video. Because now I want to go online. I want to go to my actual channel, and here we are with Mixler. Now, they can simply clip here, okay? If they click on this, they can listen to this off my website. This is how they would adjust their volume. Uh, but as far as myself, I prefer uh, that they actually come over to the actual page, okay? Because here again, this is where people can chat.
And that's what it is. I'm not logged in. Okay. But right here, if you leave this on and you're at your own page watching people that want to chat and ask you questions, if you monitor this back through your speakers, you're going to hear a six to seven second delay and it's going to drive you crazy. So what you do is after you log in, and that's what we're going to do here, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to silence my own speakers. Remember, I monitor everything uh, through the task cam uh, 16 over 8. So now there is no delay whatsoever. Everything's running right on time. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's got somebody else viewing and that's me. That's us over here. Okay. So it's picking this up. It shows anybody that's listening to your channel. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording because there's another important thing I want to show you about your audio. We're going to hit stop, and it's going to ask us, and we're going to say yes. Now, we do not want to publish this to our reel, okay? We want to be able to check our audio before we do. We want to get it to the proper levels. We might want to do something, you know, add some EQ, uh, add a little gate, take some of the background noise out, just, you know, regardless of what it is, so we're going to choose later, okay? Now, at this point, we'll go ahead and just close all this down, and we don't need this either. I want to get back right here to uh, my input. Now, I'm going to come up to Windows, where it says Windows here, and it's going to say Recordings, and there they are. These are the test runs that I've made this morning uh, putting this together. Now, I'm simply going to come to this recording here. I'm going to right mouse click it. It's going to say show in Windows Explorer. And there it is. Now, I can take this and I can literally drag this directly over into Reaper. And there it is. It's going to bring this up. Now, I can close all this out. I don't need any of this anymore. And we do want to quit. We want to quit. We want to quit. We want to get back. And here we are. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold control down. I'm going to grab these other three tracks. I'm going to delete them. And there's our, there's our audio for Mixler. Okay, it's real easy to use. It's some awesome software. So, John, you kind of get an understanding now what I'm talking about as far as not being able to actually record with Reaper. Even though I am still able to come out of the back of the Tascam 16 over 8, I still have my main recording that I'll use. And that's it, guys. If you got any questions, hit me up, uh, admin at yourpodcastreview.com or admin at hoanews.net. God bless, take care, and we are out of here.